so hello everyone uh, welcome back to another short video today i want to share some important uh, you know information about the latest enhancements in sap success factors h1 2021 release you know there are so many enhancements and uh, new features have been introduced in h1 2021 21 release for employee central solution or application so but actually i have posted in my a blog uh, some of the major enhancements which are most important ones so that um, all the employee central consultants can uh, i hope uh, you know these features or these updates would help everyone so that you are up to date uh, in employee central application so but since i am making this short video uh, before the release of these features in the system so we may not i may not be able to show you uh, and demonstrate these features in the system because these features are not yet released because the preview release is going to be 16th of april 2021 the production release will be 21st of may 2021 for a h1 2021 release for employee central product so here i have uh, updated some of the few major updates or few uh, we can say major releases uh, you know in employee central h1 release okay so the first most important thing that i want you all to know is a uh, hra sync mapping is available in the manage business configuration so there is a section is available directly in the manage business configuration from the h1 release of 2021 so but now it is not available in the system directly but i would uh, ask you to refer to this uh, screenshot and uh, when you come to the uh, manage business configuration and there is a section you will find uh, HRA is sync mapping. So here in the sync mapping, you know, you will find in a single screen all the HRA sync mappings. You know, for example, in this particular screen, you could see that the email info HRAS element, job info HRAS element, which is referring to the succession data model. So here, I'm sorry. Okay. Within this area, there are two sections we'll find here. Look at my cursor. You know, uh, you can see this is a one section is coming from the HRIS element of uh, uh, succession data model or directly from the managed business configuration. And now it is mapping to where? To the user info element fields or standard element fields. So this is the second section. This is the first section. So this field is mapping to the standard element field of the email or a company from the job info hres element area to the job in job uh, sorry uh, hres field company is mapped to the you know here you can see it's mapped to the standard element field custom 02 but there is also one more uh, one more thing that you can learn from this uh, enhancement is if there are any duplicate maps are uh, you know that you have done so automatically you will see that it is going to be highlighted in a red mark you can that is why it is written here all the duplicate mappings are highlighted in red in the hra sync mapping section so now it is very easy for you to list out and find out all the sync mappings that have been configured in the succession data model or managed business con sorry in a managed business configuration so and duplicate mappings are also can be highlighted in the red mapping so now this feature will be available in the system in the previous systems 16th of april 2021 and uh, production release is may 21st of 2021 the second uh, major thing that i want to explain here is you know let me come to the last one export of the succession data model country specific succession data model so the first update that if you see here what we are seeing here we are seeing that hra sync mapping you know that is available in a single screen directly in the managed business configuration but what it is actually 
it is running the succession data model you are running in the mdf infrastructure managed business configuration is nothing but mdf infrastructure that has been mapped configured scheduled jobs in the provisioning now actually if you come to the last one you know if you see you can now export a succession data model country specific succession data model directly from admin center but remember import is not available from this enhancement only you can export you can it means it allows you to download the succession data model to the personal computer as for the maybe uh, file management consideration like future references as a backup that when you're going to store in the system so that if something happens you always have in your personal computer you know these exported succession data model or country specific succession data model and i believe that maybe in the future releases maybe i you know expecting or maybe believing like we can see the import of the succession data model or country specific succession data model in the future releases so that is my assumption but not sure what is going to happen but as of now the export of a succession data model country specific succession data model is going to be available in the h1 of 2021 for preview it is 16th and uh, for production this is going to be uh, 21st of may so now it is very easy for all the consultants even for the customers also that you can perform for exporting your data model so for more information you can visit this blog and then learn other things but if you want to experience if you want to export the data model so you can access it directly from the employee files and admin center but if you want to enable these features you must go to the rbp and uh, you will find a section like export succession data model or country specific and then enable whatever uh, you know uh, you know if you are going to if you want to make these data models available for exporting purpose but not importing but it is nowhere mentioned like you could import the succession data model back to the uh, you know server it is not mentioned anywhere so this feature will be available very soon but as of now it is not available in the uh, systems actually it is going to come and now one more thing is that i want to tell you is mass generated documents document generation can be sent at one go but there are you know two things that you can see here in the template no you know you see that uh, do you want to generate a template you can now choose to whom to send a mass generated documents by email so now you have two options to the job owner or to the individual employee or both so you can send it to whom you want to send it so you can specify like all employees or let us say both or a specific individual employee so you can generate that is also one of the feature is available from the major enhancement that is why you can look at every time you know the technical details like the version the reference number it's the first time it is introducing it is a directly you can do it in admin center it is specific to the employee central and uh, the major enhancement so here on my personal blog you could find only major things uh, major enhancements which i felt most important that every consultant should be aware only those things I have posted and uh, you can refer to this last point that I want to tell you is there is something you can check you know in the check tool you the system also now uh, you can find out invalid pick list references for all your HRAS elements you know HRAS elements from where it is referring succession data model so now whether it is employment information personal information biographical information comp information whichever is if there are anything like invalid references that if system finds now the system will go and perform the checks and the system will give you all the invalid uh, pick list references options so now if you want to perform you can go to the check tool in admin center and then go and select your application as employee central core and then go to the option like a pick list usages okay give the checkbox and then perform run check and then you will get all the results with all the invalid if in case if they are existing for all your hras element uh, 
uh, options actually okay so now there are five things that i have posted here in this blog and even i wanted to show it in the system as well but these options are still these features still not yet available in the system because we are making it a, uh, earlier only right so very soon refer to this all those who are working in employee central as a consultant and i'm sure these would help everyone as a delta enhancement or uh, we can say a new enhancement so that it helps you for your preparation it helps you for your uh, employee central as a consultant when you work so that you are always up to date with the features in employee central system so i hope it is uh, helpful for everyone and those who feel like you it is helpful so you can refer to this blog learn something from this and enhance your knowledge okay thanks so much for watching my video see you all again in the next time but next time when i'm going to post and i'll be posting now one more blog that's going to be like employee central h1 2021 minor enhancements but here in this blog you would you will only see the major ones but i'll be posting one more session that will be on minor employee central h1 releases okay thank you all so much see you all again in the next time with a new short video bye everyone thank you